Hi all. I thought tonight we will uh, check that my laptops are still in working order. Now I have already gone ahead and I have been through all my laptop adapters and found suitable ones for each of my laptops, labelled them so I know which one's which. This way, because I've got a big box full underneath my Lego table behind me at the minute, at least that way I haven't got to dig through the big box to find one that will fit every time I want to have a play with one of these. So I've got some specialist ones that will only go to certain laptops. Um, I also have some universal ones, some various ones here which work. I have tested them, they do work. So I'm just gonna... I've got four. This one is an odd one. This one's universal. Look at that. See, it's got all of those different voltages on there. Uh, three different 19 volt. It's got 19 volt, 3.95 amp. Uh, then 19 volt, uh, 3.42 amp. And 19 volt, 3.16. 19 volt, 2.1. 19 volt, 1.5. 8 amp. 20 volt, 3.25 amp. 18 and a half volt. 3.3, 3.5 amp, and then 15 volt, or two 15 volts, one at 4 amp, one at 3 amp. And it seems like it auto detects, because uh, there's no voltage selector on here. But it does work. I tried this on one of my laptops, which requires 15 volts, and it does work. So and there's another one here, where the voltage selector is actually on the cable. Not quite sure how that works, but that goes from 15 right the way up to 19 and a half. I do actually have a laptop that needs 15 volts, oddly enough. <laughs> right, so I'm going to start with this one. One of my one of my favourites. I'm actually going to plug in another lead because I unplugged it earlier. I've got three different cables plugged in here. So I was doing all sorts of playing around. This is one of my two Compact Armada E500s. And I'm not sure which one I've got here. I think it's the Windows 98 model. It is indeed. Um, the other one's on Windows 2000. Uh, the reason I did that is because this one's got the Windows 98 sticker here. And, I do believe on the bottom, yeah, there it is, the Windows 98 COE. So, when I restored these, I put Windows 98 back on this one. This one's got the Windows 2000 stickers on it, so I restored that one back to Windows 2000. I thought I might as well because I had two different ones. Right. In this pile somewhere. Nope. They're all labelled. It's one of these at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be the bloody last one I pick up, isn't it? There we go. Oh, I should have turned the volume down on the P3. So, we'll put this up and see if it works. Right, where's my power sword up at the other end? I need the middle one. The snake eyes, as some people call it, because of that. I've also heard them called figure eight, so I'll just call it figure eight. Can we plug it in there like that? We have the charge light on. Last time I used these, the batteries did hold charge, but considering their age, not very well <laughs> at all. Not delayed reaction. 
I didn't think it was going to work. That was such a delayed reaction from the power button. It was sort of like I pressed it, and then it was like, oh, I better turn on. <laughs> Actually, I did have four at one point, but the other two were absolutely knackered, so they got broken up for parts. Basically, I just built two good ones from four. And for some reason, I passworded it. I have no idea why I did that on some of these. I think just at the time because I could. Audio works, I still get the drivers. Well, the drivers were readily available online when I put this one back to work in order. I have absolutely no idea what size hard drive I put in here. Probably not much bigger than a 20, or probably no bigger than a 20 gig. I think actually, do they come with hard drives? They might have come with hard drives. So I'm going to start with that first, and what I might do is just, uh, so you can actually see, zoom you in on the screen. There we go. So, I just want to bring our properties up on our hard drive. What have we got? <laughs> Two gigabyte hard drive. <laughs> is that actually readable on that? I don't know if it's readable. I can't see on my little LCD screen on the camera. But yeah, that's um, two gigabytes. <laughs> I actually thought this one had more than that. Because uh, I have been playing a game while I've been playing Theme Hospital on this one. But I can only get so far. <laughs> Not as easy as you think that bloody game. Right, as for resources it's got I don't know what speed the processor is but it's got an Intel X86 Family 6 Model 8 Stepping 6 processor and that's exactly what it says on there and 128 megabytes of RAM I've actually got one two three four five Windows 98 laptops and I think this is the one which is the better spec one out of the lot? Let's leave them go online. You can't really do anything online, but it will go online. Okay. It is a working. This has actually now inspired me to go on eBay at some point. One of these days I will remember which way the zoom goes. But to go on eBay and... Uh, See if I can find another job lot of them, because uh, that's actually how I come across most of my laptops. Uh, three of them did come from a friend. I got that grey one as well that's in the pile. That's a Toshiba. That was actually in a trailer ready to go down to the recycle centre and I rescued it. <laughs> I was like, no, you're not dumping that. <laughs> Right, that's a pass, so I'm going to put that down here for now. Here we go, the window. Oh, I've got no battery on this one. I think I took it off because it was knackered. Did I leave the battery in on the other one then? Oh, the battery's in on the other one. Maybe it fell off then at some point. Or not, I've got the a battery somewhere, I just have to remember to put it back at some point. Right, this is the other one we need. I could have used the same adapter, but... What do you think? Before I put this away, I'm going to go and just... Uh, I think I know where that battery is. Let me just go have a look. exactly where I thought it was actually. I've got a box in the kitchen full of spare laptop parts. I don't actually know why I keep it. I had the right cable in my hand the first bloody time. I'm not sure I like that power adapter because I don't have to go snap every time you turn it on or plug a cable. Oh, 
I'm getting a charge light though. But well, that might explain why. Because I did cheat, I did power this one up earlier. But I didn't get a charge light. I'm still not getting a charge light, so that battery might be totally toast. It's not actually doing anything, so I think it may have crashed. Hello? No. <laughs> really? Maybe it didn't like the battery that I put in. Let's remove the battery and I'll try it again, shall we? Well, do it that way. It wasn't letting me turn it off. I'd even press the button to turn it on. Now it's got life of its own. Maybe I won't store the battery in it then. Maybe this one is a complete... Well, it's not leaking or anything, but well, I don't mean it's not leaked inside there. Oh, there we go. Ah. I don't get stuck again. I mean, good. Maybe it didn't like that ba battery. Battery? It's a battery. Yeah, maybe this one's a, a very duff one. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Look at this. It's got a little battery gauge on it. There's a little button here that you press, and if it was good, or only charging it at all, they would light up. <laughs> well, it would have been a good battery to sell Origins from Japan. running up and down the liquor table. Hmm. I might leave the other compact on charge, see if it'll take a charge. I'm pretty certain it does, but it just doesn't last very long. And it has that got one on it. unlock the battery first before you can pull it out. It has! <laughs> and it works. Look, it's very low though. See the green LED light come on? <laughs> hmm. Alright then. At the end of this, I'll, uh, I'll leave this one on charge. And I'll put in the description the, uh, the results. Right, well I can't remember the specs on this one, but no doubt it's better. Well, it should be bloody better. No, not format. We've got 10 gigabyte hard drive. We have, according to this, 261,606 kilobyte. So we have about 256 megs of RAM. And it's another Intel processor, but this one's Model 8 Stepping 10, whatever that is. AT-AT AT compatible. No idea what that is either. It might even run Windows XP on this. It'll be bloody slow. Good. If I can get, the, get that battery to charge on the other one, I'll try that on here just to make sure it's not a fault with the laptop. Because you never know, it could be something wrong with the socket itself. Alright. I think that's the adapter for it right over there. What's next on the pile? Is it my M700s? It is my M700s. 
And I got both of those in job lots of laptops. I decided to buy on lap on on laptop on eBay one day. On fucking laptop. Well, that's me now demonetized. I said the F word. Oh, scary. I've actually put a sticker on the bottom of this as well, so I know which one's the Windows 2000 and which one's the Windows 98. Because, uh, again, I've done one of each just because I could. And here's the power supply. I think, just to save unravelling the damn things all the time. Got enough hanging off there to plug it in. Do that. Compact, but compact decides to put the bloody charger on this one up the other end. Turn on. Does this one have floppy disk drive on it? No. It's only got a CD drive. Don't know which one's a newer model, to be honest. And to be honest, I prefer the. Um, Armada E500s to the Armada M700s. But I am very tempted to go on eBay and uh, just see what I can find. See if I can find any more laptops. Um, ones that I haven't got, you know, I don't want no more of these. I've already got two of these and two E500s, so maybe a job lot of old Dells because I've only got the one Dell under here which does work. I did actually find a power supply for that Dell. That's what I'm going to need one of those universal adapters for as well. I just remembered that. But it was dead and when I took the power supply apart it looks like someone has had a go at repairing it and done a really bad job. <laughs> right. I just want to go and get a drink while that's doing that. I think I really need to change the um, CMOS battery <laughs> so this doesn't happen every time I turn it on the Windows 98 rigs I've got I remember setting that as the background pick but then again it's been a while since I've turned this on right hard drive what have we put on here what did I put on here I never remember This one is a 40 gigabyte. Ooh, that's the biggest one so far. I think it would have been better if I'd stuck that on the other compact, but never mind. Right, well, this is reading 196,080 kilobytes of RAM. <clears throat> uh, with an Intel 86 Family 6 Model 6 stepping. I'm going to have to Google that at some point because I have no idea what that is. People say I know my computers, I just know how to make them work. You know, I don't know all of what all the poxy numbers and things mean. Those numbers for that process are all gobbledygook to me. But yet if it said something like a Pentium 3... 600 megahertz, I'd know what it was talking about. <laughs> but unfortunately, these don't use older machines. Right, you down there. We'll move on to the next. I'm going to move that out of the way as well. Yeah, that one. I need this one cotton. Plug it into the right holder cap and it might work. It ain't gonna work if you plug it into the damn wrong one. That's a very poor Scottish accent. The slidey one, not the button one. The I don't know why Compaq did the, that on these old laptops as well. They always had like two power buttons. There's the issue on this one. You've got that line down here. A dead pixel line, I think. That's what that is. It's nothing that uh, could be the screen drive or it could just be connection on the screen itself. But I'm not too fussed. 
it's only got to work as it's not used for anything it's only for demo purposes like this it is rather dirty the bezel is uh, is actually metal this whole lid is actually metal on these M700s believe it or not and it's all scratched as you can probably see I'll just zoom you in a bit while we're waiting for that in fact I think I might jump cut this little bit out does it take so damn long there's a cuddly toy sitting right on the edge of my table and I keep thinking it's Nemo because it's the same bloody colour okay so I decided, decided to jump cut to here because that memory check takes so long Anyway, I don't know if I can get you to see it while we wait for that. That vinyl scratch pony plushie there, right? I keep seeing that out of the corner of my eye, and I keep thinking it's Nemo. Well, Nemo is actually on that corner now. Yay! Windows 98! Spoiler alert, that's what the last three on here are, but that's not all the laptops. I've got a bunch on the floor to go through. Including two on Windows 95. Again, spoiler alert. Bunch. Hang on. One, two, three, four on Windows XP. But I think I'll split this into a few videos. So I'll do these old ones on one video, then I'll do the others in another video. I think that would be the easiest option. I think I just did that wrong. It wouldn't really matter if I tell you the password, because one, none of you out there are going to come around and go do 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 on the laptop anyway. It's never connected to the internet. And there's bugger all on it. <laughs> now it's just one of those I got with that job lot and just thought, you know, I'll get it working just because I can. It's got these little, um, I can't remember what the bloody hell they call them now. Like the little nipple thing on the keyboard to operate the mouse cursor can be quite annoying if you're not used to them. So can the uh, mouse buttons when they don't want to work. So what, are the, what have we got on this one? That's another 40 gig hard drive. Now why the frig won't my desktops recognise a 40 gig hard drive yet these laptops do? Is it something to do with the way I installed Windows 98 on my one? Keeping in mind the um, little bit of a dicky mouse button there, and as I press it hard, it don't want to work. Because um, I built the mesh one myself, so maybe I did something wrong in the installation. But the CCTV one came as it was, I haven't touched it. Apart from checking on a few. This has got 320 megabytes of RAM. The rate this is going, this one would actually be the better gaming laptop. If it weren't for that screen. Me thinkies, I might do some swapping of parts at some point. One may have a better processor. X86 Family 6 Model 8 Stepping 3. I can't remember what the other one was. It's a nice grey Toshiba I've got here. It was the Tudder one that I got off a friend. When I got out of his trailer before he dumped it. Got the docking station for this as well. But uh, requires 15 volts to operate. And thankfully, in my box of adapters, I've actually got a 15 volt Toshiba adapter. I've got another one that came with this, but the socket is all pushed in and broken. It still works, but it's probably not very safe to use. And actually, at the moment, I don't know where it is. But we've got this one, which does work. Again, I don't actually know what the battery life is like. Probably not very good. There we go. 
this is the 4, 490XCDD. And it's got a key missing, that's probably the only actual fault with this one. From that key missing, it's actually in pretty good condition cosmetically. I've got quite a mix, some of them are in real crap condition. One was rather loud. I must have the volume all the way up on this one. It's actually scary, right? You imagine how old this laptop is. And this actually boots quicker than my Windows 10 desktop over there. That ain't right. And again, like most laptops of that era, it's got the little nipple thing. Now you got to fondle the nipple to bloody steer it. Oh, according to this, we've got a 5 gigabyte drive on it. Well, 3.81, so... Well, actually, that'd be closer to a 4 gig, wouldn't it, you dumbass? Not 5. Duh! What? Because I'm pressing the wrong button. Tell you what though, I think I actually prefer these little nipple things to the actual touch pads. I take some getting used to, because I'm still all over the place with it. This one actually tells you what the processor is, it's a Pentium 2. It doesn't tell you the speed though. It's only got 64 megabytes of RAM. I don't think I've got anything I can upgrade that with at the minute. Right. Uh, start and shut you down and move on to the Dell. It shuts down a hell of a lot quicker as well. There we go, look, shut down. Done. Here is the Dell. The Dell Latitude CPX. Now, this one I got a couple of years ago or so um, at a car boot sale actually and I paid the grand sum of two pounds you know I thought for that money if it didn't work I've not really lost a great deal have I and gained some spares or I could just put it on eBay for spares repairs that's what I was going to do you know and at least get my two quid back. But uh, I actually got it to work. <laughs> it's got a Windows 98 COA on the bottom. COA sticker. This has got a choice with the mouse. You've got the... That was rather low. you got the little nipply thing there with two mouse buttons or you've got the touchpad with two mouse buttons. Press F1 key. Invalid configuration. I'm betting the uh, CMOS battery is dead. I've actually got the um, CD drive installed on this. I've got floppy drives as well. They're hot swappable. So while this is turned on, you can actually pop it out and pop another one in. So you can swap them over. Which I actually thought was pretty cool. Oh, I can't remember the password that I put on this one. <laughs> so I just got to go into the normal user. Yay! Actually works pretty lovely this one. It's, lit. it's got a bit of wear on it and a bit of dust on it where it's been sitting around. Don't quite know how the dust gets in here when they sit closed but never mind. In the old hard drive clicking away. 
I know some people don't like that noise, but I actually do, because at least I know the hard drive is doing something. It's a 12 gig hard drive, 11.2 gigs free. Not a bad size. Knowing me, if I upgraded the memory, this would have at the bare minimum 64. But if I did manage to upgrade at 128. Or 256. <laughs> Jesus, I could actually steal a RAM stick out there and upgrade one of my other ones. That's more than enough. See what the bloody processor was, did I? Didn't even see if it would tell us. It says the usual thing. X86, Family 6, Model 8, Stepping 3, whatever that gobbledygook is. I'm sure someone out there knows what it is. One more Windows 98, the two Windows 95s, and I couldn't get the Vigeland to work earlier, it kept crashing. Plug you in there, you would be the cloverleaf. Plug in the cloverleaf. Plug in the, oh, sounded a bit Russian there, didn't I? Plug in the clover leaf. Now, unfortunately, well, this one's got a Pentium 3 installed, it says it right there. <laughs> unfortunately, none of the um, sound or anything works, and it's not got the proper drive, video drivers installed because I can't find them. Basically, they don't seem to exist. Job. Yes. That's going to want me to do the date and time, isn't it? Okay. A jump cut later, and we are booting up. I can't believe I had to set the frickin' time and date just to do this. Gonna need this as well. The Viglant is one of those that needs its own specialist adapter thingy because I don't think you'll find one with that sort of plug on it anywhere. Actually, to save on a bit of time, we can plug that one in as well. Ooh. We'll just wait for this heat to do its thing. I use the same password on all of these, by the way. And that probably wouldn't be that hard to crack either. What is it? It's an IBM ThinkPad. Uh, T22. Look, like I said, I tried looking for the audio drivers. In fact, looking at that, I have it managed to install video drivers, but still no audio. The audio no work, Captain. The clicky button no work, Captain. There we go. <laughs> Stupid buttons. Watch this tatty old lump got on it. 256 megabytes of RAM and an Intel x86 family 6 model 8 step in 10, you know. I don't know what that all means. I really would love to know what that all means, if anyone knows. If I find I've got a bigger hard drive on this than my others, and I'm definitely going to be doing some part swapping. 12 gigabyte. Can't modern computers shut down that quick? You would have thought a machine that's got so much more power and speed over this would shut down a lot faster than this. Yeah, this is a bit beaten up, this whole IBM. 
that's the only IBM I've got. I wouldn't mind getting some more. No, no it's not the only IBM I've got, is there? There's another one down there, you dipstick. A little bit on the beaten up side. With a bit of servicing, I think she'll be good again. Right. This one. See if I can get it to play ball. I didn't want to play ball earlier. It's throwing the right old hissy fit. Power buttons around the back. Just zoom you in a bit for this. Screen always starts off dark. Let me just uh, turn the brightness up. There we go. Now, I should have Googled it before, but there's like a command to type in to get it to boot into Windows 3.1. Because I think it just goes into... Uh... Apparently it's 1st of the 1st, 1993. No, how do I change the date? Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me. I see. You got to type the number in. Month first, okay. That's why it wouldn't let me invalidate. Doing it the American way, which is fine. It just wasn't obvious. Make up the time because I'm not really. Get it to boot this time. Ooh, it's got a 25 megahertz processor. Floppy disk fault. Insert valid boot disk and press any key. Where's the any key? It actually works now. <laughs> Didn't want to work before, but it does now. Right. One more power supply is needed, which has somehow completely disappeared off the face of the earth. There's one down there, but it's not that one. I can't miss it because it really is a big brick. It's not that one. It's not that one either. But yeah, there is. I need to find out what the command is to get in a Windows 3.1. But other than that, got the zoom wrong again. Other than that, it does work. So let's jump cut to my other IBM ThinkPad. Okay, we are a go. I found it. Right. Plug it in there. Now, the story behind this one. Much I forgot to tell you the story behind the Viglin, didn't I? The Viglin, I bought for £5 on eBay. And uh, I was actually on eBay looking for a laptop that I could fix up and repair, an old one. Found that instead. 
this one I got on a website called Freecycle um, oh, about four or four, five year ago now, something like that. And because um, I just put an ad on there, a wanted ad asking for um, old laptops, and someone replied offering this um, as non working. Um, so I thought, well, it's free, I'll go and get it. As you can see, it works. It is booting into Windows 95. Slowly. And if I just tilt this up for the minute. It's, <laughs> it's got the Norwich Union security thing on the, on the, on the bottom. And password there as well. And the usual nibble to drive the uh, cursor. You just hit cancel and you can go into like a a default user thing, guest user account I suppose. Which has absolutely nothing on it. But uh, the problem was as simple as plugging the hard drive back in. I kid you not, that's the only reason it wasn't booting. And to get to the hard drive... You open the keyboard and it goes off. Yeah, you open the keyboard like that, and then you've got your floppy disk drive, your battery, which is completely knackered, and the hard drive. <laughs> which uh was the reason it wasn't working. It just come unplugged. All I did was plug it back in. Oh I see, look at that. <laughs> Close it again and it comes back. That's a good idea. And, uh, well, I'll just put the hard drive back in, powered it back up, and Bob's your uncle. It worked. So, uh, there isn't really a lot I can do with this. And it's an IBM ThinkPad. I can't remember, I thought it said, that. oh yeah, it is, it's a 370C. Quite a nice little machine just to have a tinker with when you're bored. I like it. A little bit tatty, but I'm not surprised considering it's what? Over 20 years old now. Sharp beeping. But it's got just about an indicator light along here for everything you could think of. It's got one for sound for some reason, even though there's no sound on it. One for battery, hard drive, I'm not sure. Oh, floppy disk drive. No, that's not hard drive. I don't know what that one is. The other one on the other side of it is hard drive. See, the charge lights come on, but it doesn't take charge whatsoever. It's dead. The battery is absolutely knackered on that. Then again, considering its age, I'm not surprised. Right, so I'm going to put this adapter where I can find it now. One more for this video. again. <laughs> now this one's actually quite a strange one. So I thought at first I needed a power adapter. You don't. No battery because the battery clips are broken and it kept falling out. In fact it fell out and hit me on the toe one day. So I left the damn thing out. But this has got two power sockets on it. It's got one for this. And it's also got one for like a power adapter but this has already started to boot up, and I haven't even opened the lens yet. The screen, rather, not the lens. Ooh, there is something on the screen, but it's extremely dark. It needs a... Now... The um, story with this one is... I actually ended up with two very similar. This one was a slightly different model. But the first one I obtained, which I, th I can't remember where I got it from. 
think it was in a job lot of computer parts I got from that guy I get a lot of computer stuff from. But it had a smashed screen, so initially I was going to buy another one to replace the screen. This one that I bought, I think I only paid like £5 or something ridiculous for it. <laughs> Ended up being a fully working machine, so I just left it. <laughs> well, actually I stuck the hard drive in from the other machine with the broken screen and... Uh, away it went. Oh yeah, it's me looking for the mouse, it's here, look. There's the mouse ball and in the lid... I'll just turn this, look at this. That's where your mouse clicky buttons are, around the lid. Isn't that bloody weird? So you have to sort of use it like this. That rollerball actually works really, really well. It's weird to me doing it with my thumb, you know, not on a mouse, but it actually rolls really well. I just think it's weird that it works straight from the 230 volt mains. And, uh, there's, to my knowledge, there's nothing on this. Hard drive is... A one gigabyte hard drive. <laughs> That's worse than the other one. Get on that X, you bastard. Right. Oh, come on. I've still got all the other parts, so I've got plenty of spares for this. Anyway, that is it for this video. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to charge this camera before I start the next one. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions regarding any of the laptops I've shown, feel free to leave the questions in the comments. And uh, I will talk to you again soon. Bye!